Welcome back friends. We are talking about C elegance. We have discussed what is C elegance and why we using C elegance uh, vastly in our research. And obviously I have also discussed about the reproductive system of C elegance, especially the uniqueness of C elegance that is they can produce both sperm and egg and they can self fertilize. Now in this video I will be talking about the life cycle of C elegance. And whenever we are going to talk about the life cycle of C elegance, this life cycle is temperature dependent. Temperature dependent. Okay. That means varying temperature will definitely lead to some effect onto the life cycle of C. elegans. Okay. Now what we get generally in the life cycle of C. elegans, the life cycle of C. elegans normally controls from 2.3.5 uh, days. Uh, or 3 days to uh, 2.5 days to 5.5 days. So let me write for you. Here it is the temperature and let us look at the effect. So temperature in degree Celsius. Let us look at the effect on uh, the life cycle. So the time or, or what we can say. The life, uh, the length of their life cycle. Right? So length of life cycle. Okay. Now if we get the temperature of 15 degrees Celsius, the normal growth and the life cycle length or time for the life cycle, time span for the life cycle becomes 2.5 days. If we provide them 20 degrees Celsius temperature, it, be, it becomes 3.5 days. If we increase the temperature further to 25 degrees Celsius temperature, at the 25 degrees Celsius temperature, C. elegans can live up to 5.5 days. More than 25 degrees Celsius temperature, 30, 35 will hamper the life cycle of C. elegans and they will die soon. Okay, and they soon not only actually die, they enter into a new type of stage, which I'm going to talk about now, which is a very important, again, another uniqueness of C. elegans. Now, in the C. elegans, what we are seeing, the life cycle of C. elegans are divided into uh, suppose uh, from the beginning what we talked about the anatomy that the C. elegans start to eat they become adult and they start producing these oocytes and the sperms they'll fuse fertilization take place and they produce egg and the egg will lay after the laying of the egg the egg will start to hatch now as the egg will start to hatch the egg after hatching the egg what we get is simply called the larva and there are four types of larval stages before the coming to the adult stage for C. elegans so four larval stage designated as L1 for larval stage 1, L2 for larval stage 2, L3 and L4 uh, like uh, the similar nomenclature. So what we are having here, we are suppose having this adult, we need to lose, uh, end up with this adult C. elegans. And they lay the eggs and from the egg what we get is L1, is larva 1, L2. Larva 2, L3, and L4. Okay, so this is the normal line. Adult to L1, then L2 to L3, then L3 to L4, then L4 to finally will come back to the adult. Okay. Now what we want to know about that this process will take some time because the adult will lay egg because this intermediate is coming through egg, right? not take the red one I am going to take this black one yes they are going to produce this egg somewhere here which is also important and they, then they produce L1 okay and the production of L1 normally it stays for 7 hours sorry not 7 actually it's 12 hours it is for 12 hours so the duration at the L1 stage is 12 hours so they need take 12 hours to reach this day and they stay there as 12 hours okay after staying there for 12 hours they will turn into L2 or larval stage 2 and they stay at larval stage 2 for 7 hours okay now this is a type of life cycle we are going at at this 20 degrees Celsius temperature usually because this is the normal type of temperature the basic temperature room temperature so we will be looking at this temperature. Then again they transfer from L2 to L3 and again they stay at the L3 larval or larval 3 uh, third larval stage for 7 hours. And then the, from L3 to L4 
they will be transferred or converted and at the L4 stage they will be staying for 9 hours. And then finally last type of modifications will take place at this larval fourth larval stage of the C. elegans development. And when you get the several type of modifications and then finally they molded to the adulthood. And when they get molded to the adulthood they will be transferred and they produce the adults. Okay. So this is the life cycle of C. elegans. And obviously it's temperature dependent but we are actually focusing on this 20 degrees Celsius temperature life cycle. Now this is pretty easy, pretty simple because hormonal thing controls all these processes just like the process of larva, pupa and eddy. And, and obviously this, this life cycle is pretty much simpler actually, simpler than the life cycle of Drosophila which are having much more complex stages because Drosophila is also very important uh, system that we utilize for the developmental biology's purposes. But also this uh, life cycle is pretty easy, very easy than the Drosophila also. Okay. But uh, what is major and importance about the C. elegans is, we haven't talked it about yet, it's another stage which is called Dower. This is a very very important and vital stage. Now what is it? Now what happens sometimes as I've told you before that it can grow max maximum at this 25 degrees Celsius temperature. But if we increase the temperature, if we uh, turn the environment such that it will make the adverse effect onto the adult C. elegans, then the C. elegans will try to survive. Any of us will try to survive in harsh conditions. They will also try to do that. And for doing that, what they will do, that they will convert their body into something else. Right? Now, in, in this particular stage, at this L2 stage, so this is the stage of determination. This is also called the state of determination state of determination for the C. elegans that what will they do in future now if they witnessed if they get some kind of harsh environment if they sense some kind of harsh environment in their surrounding suppose a very elevated temperature and many type of modifications in the environment they will have hampered in those conditions what will they do they will simply slow down their metabolism they will simply slow down their metabolism and obviously, they will start move, stop moving, and everything will be stopped. Just just make uh, they just make themselves like just uh, an element. So they'll stop doing anything. They'll stop doing any sign of life. Just simply they push themselves, and they'll just slow down. They will block their mouth uh, mouth openings. They'll block their mouth openings, and they'll start stop eating. So you can see they stop eating. They stop uh, any many different things. They stop in their what we can say in their uh, movement and everything slow down the metabolism inside their body now in this stage is called as dower stage now this stage is very important to fight against the environment and they can stay at this stage over three months that is the important concept a lifespan of this of this kind of sea elegance is maximum five to six days but they can survive to three months at this particular stage and not only that is interesting, but also another interesting part that once after everything is normal, the environment becomes normal, uh, but the environment becomes normal and everything uh, starts to fall into a particular temperature of their interest. What will they do? They will come back from this Dower state. So Dower state will convert it from L2, then they will convert from Dower to L4 state. Directly they will jump over to L4 state, not L3 state. That is telling us that they are preparing for coming to L4 state. So at this stage of L2, this machinery inside their body, the genes inside their body, everything is producing some products. That products is pushing them into this Dower state. Though they are in Dower state, the metabolism is getting slowed down but not stopped because they are preparing to go into this L4, right? So they are providing everything, they are making every protein components and everything which will be necessary for converting their body to larval state 4. And then once they get every time the signal, they will convert themselves into the L4. Now when will they get the signal? That means they are not only uh, slowed down, but they get the signal. The signal transduction is on. So they are living. They are surely living. So they are living in this dower state. They get the signal or the stimulus from outside, whether everything is alright or not. Once they get the signal, they will prepare all these things inside their body, they will soon convert themselves into the fourth larval stage and at this fourth larval stage, from this fourth larval stage, uh, adulthood can be obtained pretty easily. Okay. Now the another most important part of all is that once they reach to this dower state and they come out of this dower state, 
on to this L4 state, they can live up to 15 days. They can survive up to 15 to 20 days. Usually they survive to 5 to 6 days. This is a dormant state, like the spore for the dormant state of bacteria. We all know that. Dower state is a dormant state for the C. elegans. But once they come out of this dower state uh, into the L4 stage or fourth larval state, they can stay up to 15 days. They can live up to 15 days. That is another important part. So these are the very, very uniqueness that we can find in C. elegans. And this kind of life cycle, that's why it, having the important features of the life cycle, we have designed the technique of, of making the stock of this uh, C. elegans system in the laboratories. So we can make them, we can produce them, not for three months, but many, many years we can make them a stock and just leave them just like that in very cold climates and temperatures. Okay, so that's uh, the very, very important part. So the stimulus can be of very cold or very heat, but whatever. Heat, they actually love heat, but cold is very dangerous. So they will turn them some sort of dower and come to the L4. Okay, so this is very, very remarkable life cycle feature of C. elegans. Okay, so that's it. And I hope that's helpful. Thank you.